which search engine is best to use in 2023, part 2. In this part of my search engine series, I show you many alternatives to Google Search and Microsoft Bing, and many of the search engines shown are privacy friendly and are a great alternative to Google or Bing, but there are a number of other search engines I have not covered yet, so this video is going to cover other well known and lesser known search engines, and we will see which is the best. And at number 1, we have Ask.com, a search engine that's been around for a long time, also a big competitor to Google and Yahoo Search. Ask.com aims at providing the most relevant information to you, through your questions or searches, and it can recommend other questions for you to search, for instance, if you type in Ask, a bunch of other terms might come up in a recommended list, above your search results, to help you be more specific with your question. Ask.com is great in terms of relevancy, but I do not know how good it is when it comes to privacy or other aspects, but a big downside is that there are no video, image, shopping, maps, or other things you can view at, aside from your search results, which is a bit of a letdown in my opinion, however, the pure emphasis of this search engine is to help you resolve any question you may have, or give relevant results for what you are looking for. And at number 2, we have OneSearch, another privacy-focused search engine. I have never used this one before, but it claims to have zero tracking, zero ads, and it is supposed to be like DuckDuckGo and other private search engines, in the sense that none of your data is ever sold or exposed, thus keeping your profile more private. However, since I have not used it or researched it, I cannot say for 100% certainty that one search is private, but I will definitely look more into it to see if that's the case or not. One search may give relevant information, but as mentioned, I have no experience using it whatsoever, so I cannot comment on how good or bad it is, but it's still worth mentioning nonetheless. And at number 3, we have Yahoo Search, another once popular alternative to Google, but has been on the decline for many years. Yahoo was the other Google back in the day, and their search engine definitely shares similarities with Google. Yahoo shows ads, has images, video, shopping, news, and other information, and probably collects a lot of your data as a result, which makes it a not-so-privacy-friendly search engine. And I do not like Yahoo Search, because it's not as good as other search engines I have used. And at number 4, we have Baidu, a Chinese search engine ran in China. This Chinese search engine is aimed at a Chinese market, but can be used anywhere in the world. It often provides results in Chinese, obviously. I cannot comment on how good it is, because I have rarely used it, and have no need for it. Finally, and at number 5, we have Yandex, a Russian search engine that also has a browser version available. Yandex is probably sucky when it comes to privacy, and in terms of relevancy, I have little to no knowledge on how good it is, I have not used it much before, but the times I have used it, I can say it ain't as good as Ask.com or other search engines, might be better for the people living in Russia or Ukraine, because you might get more local and relevant results over there, since it's Russian based. That's not to say Yandex is a bad search engine. I have never really used it because I am not interested in using foreign search engines, the big name ones are good enough in my opinion, and unless you live in China or Russia, there really is no need to use Baidu or Yandex. Alrighty, that'll wrap it up for this video folks. Part 3 to this series will coming out fairly soon, so make sure to stay tuned for that. Remember to like, share, comment, and subscribe and I will see you in my next video. Bye for now.